Welcome, in front of me is a POCO X3 Pro and today I'll show you how to go through the setup process of the device. So when you boot it up for the first time you will be presented with well, this screen right over here. So get started by tapping on the arrow right here and selecting your desired language. So I'm gonna stick with English right here. Again let's press on the next page, choose your region. Uh, normally I believe these uh, this is using location, so it should select correct region unless you want to select a different one. Uh, then you just well, find it in the list and just click on it. Same way as with the language. Next page we have the uh, choose keyboard. So we have the Gboard, just a typical one and talkback and braille keyboard. So i am never used this before, so I believe it's just gonna be a button for talkback so it recognizes speech, but I'm completely guessing here. I'm gonna stick with Gboard anyway. The next page we have terms and conditions. Obviously uh, we do have to agree to them by checking this box right over here. And if you are interested in reading up on what you're actually agreeing to, you can tap on this, uh, each one of them and read exactly what the terms of service are or POCO launch user agreement or whatever else is here. Uh, privacy policy and so on. Uh, now, like I said, you do have to check this on at the end of the day, so make sure you do, and then let's go further. And here's gonna start scanning for a SIM card. Uh, I don't have any SIM card inserted into the device, so I didn't find anything, but honestly, this step is kind of useless. Uh, once you insert a SIM card, it will start working without any kind of problem, so you don't have to do it right now, you can do it later on, and there is no additional steps required. So let's tap on next. Connect to network. So here you can connect to Wi-Fi. Uh, if you have one near you that you can connect to. If you don't, don't worry, you can skip it and do that later on simply through settings. So yeah. Now by skipping Wi-Fi connection, you will also miss out the ability to log into Google account uh, throughout the setup. But once you do that later on, after the setup is complete, connect to Wi-Fi, you can also through settings log into your Google account if you want to. So I'm just going to tap on next. Now here actually we do have um, a couple different things. We have um, use location, scanning, and send user and diagnostic data. Uh, so you can read exactly what these do by tapping on the text right here, the arrow, to drop it down and have a more comprehensive overview of it. Um, and if you don't want it, you can disable it like so. And from there scroll down and tap on accept. Now next page allows us to add protection to our device. So we have two different ways of protecting our device. Uh, one is through a fingerprint and the other one is through either pin, pattern or password. Now if you want to add a fingerprint, you will still be required to choose uh, pin, pattern or password, one of those three. So for this, I'm just gonna set up a pattern uh, without a uh, fingerprint. So that's what I'm gonna tap on and let's give it a couple seconds uh, for this uh, one of a kind pop up and that telling uh, that's telling us remember your password like it's not already given that we do need to remember it but yeah anyway uh once that time passes you can tap on next and then actually put in your password so i'm using a pattern so i draw it then redraw the same pattern once more and that will set it now here we have additional settings on the next page and uh, some of them do repeat like location which i already disabled send diagnostic data automatically uh, automatic system updates personalized ad and user experience programs uh, honestly uh, i'm not a fan of basically any of these uh, but probably the the worst part right here is the personalized ads i personally despise this um, it, it gathers data on what you search for and then gives you ads based on what you search on your device and just putting it into perspective how intrusive that is. Um, also, if you try to disable any of these, right? It just disables, no problem, right? You can see it, There's, you can flip it on, off. It doesn't give anything. You try to disable this. Are you sure you want to do that? Because we want to gather data on you. Uh, so yes, turn off. And also another thing, uh, basically like anything else, uh, turn off is kind of grayed out so you think that you want to turn it on so whatever uh, but yeah I 
despite this I'm just gonna turn it off and then you can go further which looks like this will actually complete the setup so to give it a second it will load apps and we should be in the home screen and there we go so if you found this video helpful don't forget to hit like subscribe and thanks for watching